Okay, folks, before actually going to set up, setting up the cameras, I'm going to go ahead and import the particles to the scene. Uh, let's go ahead and actually select all of these guys just to make sure we have a nice and tidy scene. I'm going to uh, create this null and name it my lighting. Also, go to your layers and I'm going to create a layer for my lighting here. Okay, and I'm um, going to change the color to something a bit more vivid. Control drag it to your lighting. There we go, we have our lighting. And then I'm going to, uh, in order to import the particles, go to the, and by the way, I decided to actually use the uh, long version of our simulation, the one that has about 715 uh, frame. Uh, I think we can have some nice camera movements uh, using this uh, simulation. Now you can use whatever simulation that you like. So let's go to the plugin, real flow, real flow particle importer. Go to your attributes manager and uh, let me just go to the setup tab here and you got the file path. So go to the fluid sim folder and go to your particles folder and now you have the uh, three particle uh, emitter that we had inside real flow square zero one, square zero two and the uh, third one which is uh, square zero three. I'm just going to go ahead and import this first square. Now uh, we got a lot of particles, 300, 400,000, and definitely we are not going to need all of those. So before importing, then I'm going to uh, reduce the level of detail of those particles, which basically controls the number of those particles from 100% to something like really low, something like maybe uh, this, about zero five. And I'm going to click on this and uh, click on my first square emitter. And this is what we have at the moment. Uh, look at these, the particles are working and moving around. I think let's go ahead to something like 0.1 and see, I guess this would make kind of a bit better situation. We can increase this if we want. Under display tab, which controls the way the particle looks in our editor, go ahead and change the display mode to particles, just so the scene is not that, uh, you know, uh, really that uh, busy and uh, I think it would be better. Go to your render tab and change the uh, render type is on sphere. You can go ahead and render points, sphere, sprite, or even objects if you want. You can change this object and define the objects and the particles will act and will uh, represent those objects. But I'm just going to uh, go ahead and uh, really small spheres like, uh, let's go ahead to 0.5. And then I'm going to create a quick material for these guys. So just some really quick, because they're gonna so, be so small. So just a simple luminance uh, would be enough. I'm going to apply this to the uh, particle here and we can go ahead and get closer and see how they look. We can possibly get back a bit and see how they exactly are gonna look. So let's go ahead maybe to uh, frame like this and render this and see what we are gonna have here. Okay, so you can see the small particles. Now if you really want, you can go ahead and uh, add as many as you want. Let's see if we can, their, their reflections are uh, kind of heavy in this scene so we can't see them really easily but you can see the particles are here or here and I think this small amount would be enough and if you like you can go ahead and add more and more. I'm, 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 let's see, go ahead and change the level, level of detail to something like 0.5 and let's uh, render it again. Uh, this error it says could not allocate the particles I'm not sure what uh, exactly the problem is with this because when we uh, click on, okay it simply goes ahead and renders the whole thing quite easily okay as you can see uh, the particles are there and you can go ahead and assign the material that you want I think they are kind of a bit big and they could be a bit smaller really so let's go ahead to the render and change the radius to something like maybe 0.3 would be enough. Let me go ahead, go to a frame maybe like here where we have more particles. And uh, uh, let's see, maybe here maybe. Let's go ahead and render. And this weird error could not allocate the particles. Uh, let's see. So here you can see the particles really easily inside the simulation and inside the fluid 
and I think it makes the simulation to be very nice, especially the particles are going to be moving along uh, with the stream and it really makes the whole thing to be much more nicer. So I think we are uh, good to go. And um, yes, I think we are basically done in this lesson. Uh, there is only one thing that I'm going to be uh, doing before actually going to set up, setting up the cameras. Uh, we have, uh, if you go to uh, your layers and you got this extra layer, you got this uh, path here. If we go ahead and turn it on, uh, let's see if we can uh, see them in the viewer. There we go. We have these two signs, as you can see, this two path, this one and the other one. And if the, you have seen the uh, actual motion graphic, these guys have some sort of particle motion on them. And uh, that particle motion was done inside After Effects, but we need to prepare some uh, stuff to actually be able to do that inside After Effects easily. So what I'm going to uh, do for this particular matter is to go ahead and uh, set up some null and some light to move along this sign so we'll be able to uh, go ahead and use them uh, really easily inside After Effects. So in the next lesson we're going to uh, work on this guys which will be uh, you know a step really for preparation to so we can make sure we have uh, enough information so we can use them inside After Effects and after that is finished we can uh, safely go ahead and start working on our cameras. So see you there.